Hey guys, so here is an example video. Uh, please watch my previous video on IEEE if you haven't yet, if you don't know what IEEE is. Uh, because in this example, I won't really be going over the base techniques. Instead, I'll be just doing this one example where we're converting the given IEEE number into just regular old base 10. So this question is kind of nice because it gave us some spaces. So we have a space here and we have a space here. So right away we can tell that this is our sign, which means that our final number will be positive. And this is our exponent from this one here, oops, this one here to this zero here. That means that our exponent is one followed by what looks to be five zeros and then another one and then a zero so that's eight bits that's good looks good we know that the exponent is equal to the bias plus p now what we have are the exponent and our bias so if we look at this number in base 10, we realize that this is 128, but with a 2 tacked on, because this is where our 2 slot is filled in terms of binary. So that means that this number in binary is simply 130. So everything now is in base 10. We can solve for p. So 127 plus p. We can see right off the bat that p is going to be 3. Now for the moment of truth, we look at our fraction, which is this big old chunk of crap at the end of our exponent. And remember that if you were to convert from a decimal number to an IEEE number, we have our floating point format where we would truncate our 1. So here we're actually going to tack that 1 back on. So we have 1 dot 0, 0, 1, 0, etc. <coughs> So again, this one is not included in the fraction with our IEEE number. We just added on um, for this part because we took it off when we converted from decimal to IEEE. So you always want to do that. You always want to add on your 1. And now we know that P is 3, so we can hop our dot 1, 2, three decimal places. So the rest of the numbers going this way are just zeros, so we can just scrap them. We don't care about those. Which means that our final answer in binary is 1001, which is the same as 9 in base 10. And that's our final answer. So just as a refresher, if let's say the number they gave us as a 1 here, we'd actually end up with the exact same answer, except that it would be negative. Because remember that when our sign is 1, that's a negative number, and when our sign is 0, that's a positive number. Okay, so that's it for that example. Uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for potentially a few more videos tonight. I'm not sure if I'll make a few more tonight, but there'll be more coming tomorrow. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe and suggest ideas for new videos and ask any questions in the comments.